Friday, the 13th of November, 1992, the WBA's number one ranked fighter was Riddick Bowe, and he was ready to step up to the challenge of fighting Evander Holyfield for the undisputed heavyweight championship of the world. The 15,000 strong crowd were in for a treat as the two undisputed fighters would deliver a fight of the year performance and round 10 would also be named the 1992 round of the year by Ring Magazine. Which rules will apply? Will it be bigger man, bigger punch? A quick knockout for Riddick Bowe? Or will it be the man with greater experience and ring guile who controls the action? That is likely to be Holyfield. One of the wonderful things about Evander for spectators is that he is no great defensive fighter. He does get hit. So for that matter does Bowe. Good left hook to the body by Evander Holyfield. And the left hook to the jaw. And Holyfield is quicker to the punch early in the fight. Again, Holyfield scores with the left-right combination. Bo answers with one punch in return. And Holyfield again, getting the best of a center ring exchange. Now Bo lands the right hand for the first time in the fight. That's all I've got. Stay away from the exchanges. It was the right hand the lead again, George. He's landing that right hand lead is Holyfield, the champion. Not only that, that left hook to the body, which hurts. Holyfield has got one of the best left hooks to the body I've ever tasted. So, by the champion of Andrew Holyfield. And already, Bo begins to hold and hit, and they brawl in the center of the ring. Evander Holyfield showing his warrior's heart, believes he has Bo hurt. Bo's got Evander Holyfield reaching in for his jab, which is what he wants. Bo trying to measure Holyfield from afar. Evander trying to step up inside and stay inside Bo's power. Left hook by Holyfield. It's the second one. Lands the right uppercut. Left hook by Bo. Two of them. Holyfield coming back, taking and giving shots. Oh, re established that left jab. What does he need to be throwing? Right hand. Long left right hand ball. by Holyfield. Almost caught Bo flush. As it was, it did a little damage, but not as much as it might have appeared to be the case. Holyfield landing inside. Bo comes right back. Bo was told by his corner to go to double left hook and then the right hand. At some point, Riddick Bo is going to realize, sure, Evander is hitting me, but it doesn't hurt like it ought to be hurt. And then once that happens, it's going to be a big deal. Left hook landed by Bo after a right. Holyfield seemingly in trouble for the moment. No doubt about it, but he's a storm weather. Come on, Bo. Come on. Let's look more carefully. There's the left hook by Holyfield. And another, and another, and another. Holyfield wobbles Bo under the ropes. A series of left hooks, all of them landed bring on, bring on, bring on. front. Field falls in, falling right foot after another. He's not keeping his position at all. Left hook inside by Holyfield. Bo's punches are having more effect. Bo goes to the body, and Holyfield covers up. Zappa, he wants a punch of following you. Evander Holyfield giving Riddick Bo every chance to whack him out of there. The left and a right by Holyfield and the left. Both giving the right hand in return. Left hand by Holyfield. These are solid shots, but the champion does not seem able to hurt Riddick Bow. Bow lands the right hand over the top. Evander just freezes and looks at him and then comes away. He right hurt him. Bow didn't realize that he was hurt. And now Evander is reeling as Bow lands the left hook and goes to the body to try to set up the finish. Good left hook. Holyfield with another left hook. The champion showing his courage at his left eye to feel the blood and then racing out with the left hook. Both coming back with right hand. Sees an opportunity to perhaps finish things off. And there he is pawing the right eye again. Let's see if Holyfield tries to take advantage of that opportunity. He does and takes a right hand in return. Holyfield would display how big his heart is after he withstood a massive assault from Bo at the start of the ninth round. He would then come back with an assault of his own towards the challenger. He's been a gentleman all this time. He can't understand someone being so dirty. So you see Holyfield going down in this round, and Bo stuns him with an uppercut. And just like that, the champion struggles to stay on his feet. What a heart by Holyfield. He's going to stay on his feet. He's hanging in there. Gets away from a right hand, blocks another one. Bo throwing and throwing. Now goes to the body. Holyfield somehow standing up. But staying too close to the ball. Joe Cortez watching. Champion gets the benefit of the doubt. Field weathers the storm and comes back throwing. Don't rest. Rest.
just with your jab. Bo should be taking that kind of advice. Look at Holyfield. What a warrior. Right. Reversing the tide of the battle. The champion now has Bo wobbly. And he lands the right hand. Right. Everybody in the Thomas and Max Center on their feet. This round should be greeted with a standing ovation at the end. You've seen the best of both men. A right hand by Holyfield. And another. Round 10 continues after the bell. The pressure from the previous round would carry over to round 11 and see Holyfield meet the canvas for only the second time in his career. There's the uppercut again. The mouthpiece is out of Holyfield's mouth. And he's going to go down. And Holyfield gets up very early in the count. In his career, he's been knocked down. First time he has actually gone to the campus. It could be all over for Evander Holyfield's heavyweight championship reign. He is not fighting back and seems to have no will to do so. But he will not take KO for an answer. They begin to rise and applaud what has been an extraordinary battle between two men of heart and will and courage and skill. The winner by unanimous decision and new heavyweight champion of the world. Both fighters would earn big paydays for that time as Riddick would walk away with $5.5 million and Evander would take home $17 million, which would cheer anyone up after a big loss. Riddick would later famously throw his WBC title in the trash after negotiations broke down with Lennox Lewis over the pair meeting in the ring. I'll break this one down in another video. Click here for the breakdown of the second fight between Holyfield and Riddick. You can show your support to the channel by hitting the like button, commenting, or subscribing. Thanks for watching. Peace out.